All right, Sagittarius, let's see what message is coming in for you. And obviously, this is something that you're meant to receive at this particular time. Whether it's the singular message, double message, triple message, we shall take a look. All right, so let's see. For Sagittarius, as we are ending the month of November, moving into December, what is it that Sagittarius needs to know at this particular time? Sagittarius messages coming through for Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and begin. Okay. Oh, so we have the Six of Wands. Mm, I like this for you. It's showing success and victory. Also, you overcoming hurdles or things that may have been thrown your way to throw you off course. You're prepared to handle it. You're not going to let it affect you, Sagittarius. Oh. Justice in reverse. Okay. So there's someone here that is definitely trying to block your path. Um, isn't this interesting? As I was saying this, look what's coming right after the chariot. The chariot is all about movement and it's showing control. Like you are in control. You are staying focused. You're, you're going to come out succeeding in the long run. Slow and steady wins the race. Now, justice is in, re in reverse. Yeah, that came through. So I definitely see you dealing with or encountering, yeah, possibly encountering someone that is trying to block your path to success. I'm almost sensing jealousy too. Like this person is watching you and they are very jealous of your, not only your happiness, but you winning. You, there are things lining up in your life. Okay. Like tic-tac-toe. Like there are things lining up that have you set up to to confidently win or overcome the trials and the obstacles that you've been going through. This is also public recognition too. So you being praised in public or you being popular, someone is jealous and it's like they don't want to see you win or they're trying to possibly like sabotage you. Let me see here. Double eights. Wow. Okay. So we have the eight of swords and the eight of cups that came through. Insecurity. This person, or it could be like a group of people, but I feel like it's a one, like a particular person. They are insecure that they are not like you. Whether they know, I don't think they, I don't think they are fully aware of why they do what they do or why they are trying to do what they're doing in your life. But it stems from insecurity because, because of their self-imposed restrictions, um, their negative thoughts, possibly who they are surrounded with too. If there are people that surround them that aren't a positive influence, it will affect them. So maybe they were like, going through a rough childhood or a rough upbringing or possibly like people that they hang out with, they're negative. So therefore it affects that person to be negative. And then that negativity is trickled down to you. Could also be like generational too, but I see you having no parts with it. And I think this is why this person is so, they hold like a deep, envy and jealousy towards you is because you have left them you're not in their life whether you're no longer their lover no longer their friend no longer their co-worker colleague mentor coach family okay you were strong enough to turn away from them because you recognized the signs you saw that and you want the best for yourself as we see here with the six of wands and the chariot. But it's like they can't they can't let you go. <laughs> they can't you are still playing in their mind. They still think about you. They still wonder about you. They're still spying or watching you or trying to check up on you. 
but you would think they want the best for you, right? No, they want the best for themselves. They want the best for themselves. Um, huh. Let me see. Seven of Pentacles. Interesting. The Seven of Pentacles. Huh. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Oh my gosh. What's up with all these doubles? Sagittarius. Interesting. We see both of these kind of like chariot energy here with like the six of wands you know there on the horse the chariot has their chariot so it's showing like movement and we have the double eights now we have the double sevens hmm. hold on let me get some clarifiers the seven of pentacles i'm trying let me see because i i see it being both you and them but let me see where i should focus on okay the yeah, okay, the Nine of Pentacles. Clarifying that. What I'm hearing is like stick to yourself or stick to stick to yourself, stick to the plan, stick to the process. And I feel like the process just really includes yourself without the other person. Stick to it and it you will succeed. Okay, stick to it, but don't tell people about your plan. With the seven of swords don't tell them your your intentions um or maybe don't tell them your secrets don't let them know your next move that's what i'm seeing here too like do not let them know your next move page of swords staying on your toes staying alert hmm Is there a, okay, I see, I see you going somewhere. And what I mean by that is there's something here that you are contributing to your energy. You keep showing up because both of these cards are showing a garden and you keep showing up, okay, for your garden. And each time you show up, little by little it's increasing the value is increasing the money is increasing your skills the ideas the the like the knowledge your tactic you keep showing up for something little by little each day that's great and it's picking up momentum that's what i see here too it's picking up steam it's picking up movement but the reason why i see you you know contributing little by little is because ultimately you are planning to leave or there's a hidden agenda or an intention it's not really malicious it's more like you don't want people in your business so you're just doing like a little a little bit here and there because one day you're going to it's not even that you're going to reveal it, but it's going to be too late and you're already going to be gone. So like people are going to wake up and they're like, where does Sagittarius go? Oh, they left. They moved. <laughs> they quit. Right. And they're like, oh my gosh, I didn't even see it coming. Yeah. Because you did it little by little. It's like when people want to quit their job, right? They slowly start to take little things off their desk. So it's not noticeable or when you're trying to leave, you know, an unhealthy relationship, you don't pack your bags all at once. You slowly start saving your money or you slowly start packing little by little. It's kind of like that. Maybe you're trying to start your own business, right? You slowly grind and hustle after, after work or after like hours and you don't tell anyone about it. And then boom, one day you quit your job and you start your business. It's something like that. You're doing something like little by little, but this little by little action, it's a compound action and eventually it's going to be your ultimate success. And it's going to be the other person's biggest downfall because they did not want to contribute to your path of happiness and success or because they were a part of a temporary situation that helped you get to where you needed to go. Interesting. Okay, let me see what else is coming through here for you. Let's see. I feel like there's another message. Another message for 
for Sagittarius. Let's put this off to the side just in case you want to focus on this. What else is coming through for Sagittarius? Let's see. What else is coming through for Sagittarius? What else is coming through? Oh, nine of pentacles again with the wheel of fortune. Okay, so you are definitely walking in the path of high abundance. Something is definitely shifting in your life where you are coming up. You're going to come up on like more money, more resources, more networking, more blessings. Okay, the nine of pentacles shows that it really represents her being blessed not stressed she's attracting she is attracting not lacking so i love this for you because you are definitely attracting great opportunities great friendships great love whatever it is that you ultimately desire you're attracting it and it doesn't only have to be that one thing it could be multiple things as we see here with the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune is striking different areas in your life so I do see moving into the new year, especially in these upcoming weeks here, you are just, the okay, again, wheels, right? The wheel is turning. The, the way that you're making moves or who you're like connecting with or the ideas that you are acting upon, it's all aligning in a greater picture for you that's setting you up to experience the highest luxurious abundance. I'm also seeing you like enjoying like the riches of life you're going to be able to enjoy like more free time or time off you are coming across more um opportunities to enjoy life like going on trips vacations maybe buying things that you never thought you could afford uh you're being very comfortable you're going to be very very comfortable you're going to have a lot of fun you are going to possibly go on like trips and journeys okay like a high um like, yeah, high, heightened, I would say more like heightened life experience. Your life is taking a turn in a positive, a greater direction. And I can see why people are going to be jealous and envious of you because they're going to look and say, wow, how can they have that? And I don't. I definitely see better quality coming into in in your life here and you're just being able to enjoy it all hmm. the three of swords interesting how that came through the three of swords with the four of cups hmm. now the great this greater happiness may come after what you are seeing as a, the greatest pain too sometimes that happens the greatest pain leads to like the, the greatest happiness um this could also show like there's a big big again turnaround after a split or separation or hurt there's healing an abundant amount of healing and recovery. Let me see here. Let me get some clarifiers for you. Oh, this. Someone is missing you. Oh, someone is missing you. Someone misses the way, um, the way that you are, they are having a hard time finding a replacement or finding someone just like you they are having a hard time like the way you were like you're so generous you're so helping you're so loving you gave like effortlessly um you are more of a giver to this person or the situation and a provider or a nourisher like you gave 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 right because the six of pentacles also is like a good karmic energy like you gave to those that had nothing to offer you but it came from the heart um but 
they took your heart for granted or they took advantage of that or they misused it. And by the time that they try to maybe fix it or by the time that they realize what they had, you're long gone. You're gone. And even though new people come across their path, it does not quench their thirst. They, it does not taste the same. It does not feel the same. And they are so dreaming about the best that they've had. The best that they've had is the King of Cups. This is all symbolic or metaphorically, you know, speaking. I mean, it could be literally speaking too. <laughs> uh, but the King of Cups, okay, this is the highest cup other than the Ace. But of course, you know, if we're looking at a person, the King of Cups is in the highest position. And this person here, they don't want this little measly hand of cups. They don't want these everyday cups. They want the king of cups. But they are missing. They are someone, especially with the cup energy that taps into our emotions and our heart. So, ooh, Sagittarius, you have someone all up in their feelings. They are still thinking about you. There's someone here that is still thinking about you. They can't get over you. They want to reach out to you. Um, and it's almost like they regret letting you go or letting you slip away because now they see you living your best life. Now they're seeing you being happier um, and you're realizing that you're happier too without this person or without like this situation. It could be a situationship or like a friendship, right? It's like you're better off without them. You try to make it work. You try to bring them along at one point, but they betrayed you, okay? They deceived you. They showed that it's like their actions had consequences and those consequences were you departing. And they are very, they are really struggling to find a replacement of you or someone that can fill that void. And you, you're making it very hard. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't think they'll ever find, they will never find anyone like you. And I think that's what hurts them the most is because they know that. That connection that they had or that energy that you provided, that creativity, that love, that vision, like just who you are essentially. I mean, we're all different people here on this planet, right? There is no one else like you. Our fingerprints are all different. So th they are really longing for you again. They, they are missing you. At this point, there's really nothing that they can do that will convince you to go back to them where you think it's going to be a better situation because you're doing so well or your path is going to look so good without them. Seven of Swords is showing up again. Yeah, so someone, it's like they show their true colors, their true intentions. They did something very sneaky or they were, they were not very loyal to you and that's something that you can't unsee right? When someone shows their true colors, you'll always remember that. Or when someone said something or they sh did, they sh they said something, they have shown you something, something that was re revealed, you won't forget it. You tuck it away and you always remember that. So there's something here that you will always remember how they made you feel, what they did to you. And you can't recover from that. So that's why this will never be. And that's what makes them so sad is because they saw, huh, they saw that they had you at one point and they are regretting now that they missed this lifelong opportunity with you. Six of cups. And then we also see the five of swords. It just arguing, fighting, things were turned, you know, towards you. Um, someone was acting like very immaturely or they were being very childish about something as well. Um, or maybe like using the kids against you or something. The Five of Swords. The Five of Swords, I see that there is like conflict they didn't, they, like fighting. They were always like fighting with you or you were always fighting with them. Um, you were trying to bring peace. They were just trying to bring drama. And I, again, it's due to their immaturity. 
They did not have clear, open communication. They did not want to talk civilly or they did not. It's more like they did not want to reflect within themselves to see that they were in the wrong or that there were room, there was room for improvement. So they tried to gaslight you and say, you know, it was you. Redirect the energy, say it was you. Um, yeah, I just see like immaturity. There is immaturity going on here. But... Again, with the Nine of Pentacles, we see that now you're like going to be living your best life. You're going to be starting your own family. You're going to be starting your own community. You're going to be having harmony and balance and peace and tranquility. Uh, you're going to be able to like have the kids more or see more of the kids, right? If it's like if it's a split, uh, divorce or separation, like you're going to win the settlement, even though they try to take you to court. You're going to win. If it's career-wise, like you're going to win over the, the team. Uh, something here where it's like people are going to be, they're going to like listen to you. They're going to gravitate towards you. What a very interesting reading here for you, Sagittarius. Definitely make sure you stay tuned and subscribe for more of these type of uh, bonus readings. And until then, stay well and be blessed.